In AD 70, the Roman army under the direction of Titus took the city of Jerusalem. The entire city, including the temple, was totally destroyed. As Jesus had forewarned, one stone was not left upon another. During the course of these horrendous events, historians report that there were no believers in Jerusalem or in Judea. Epiphanius, the bishop of Salamis, in his work entitled Panarion, tells us that believers left Jerusalem prior to the destruction in A.D. 70, and that those who fled were known as Nazareans. Just like believers today are known as Christians, believers during the first century were known as Nazareans. Not Nazarenes or Nazarites, but Nazareans. Epiphanius tells us that the Nazareans remembered that Jesus had warned that when they saw Jerusalem encompassed with armies that they should flee to the mountains. And that's exactly what they did. In the book of Acts chapter 24, we read of a very important member of the Nazarean sect who was so outspoken that he was known as a ringleader. His name? The Apostle Paul. The Greek word used in the book of Acts to identify Paul is the word Nazarean. It is derived from the fact that Yeshua was known to have come from Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth, a title used throughout the New Testament, the title which was placed above the head of our Savior when he was on the cross, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. The historian Epiphanius gives us great insight into the beliefs of the Nazareans. He tells us that they used both the Old and New Testaments and that they did not repudiate what he calls the legislation. We know from Epiphanius' writings that what he meant by the term legislation was the first five books of the Bible, the Torah, which includes the commandments of our Creator. Epiphanius says that the Nazareans confessed everything exactly as the law proclaimed it and that in a Jewish fashion except for their belief in Christ. The New Testament makes it plain that sin is the transgression of the law. First century believers knew that. Jesus did not die in order to make a way for us to practice sin. Not only did they believe in Jesus, but they kept the commandments of God. Today, millions of believers around the world seek to do the same thing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Not in an effort to earn salvation, for we are saved by grace through faith but in an effort to do what is pleasing in the eyes of our Creator and Savior. Earnestly contending for the faith, once delivered to the saints, I'm Richard Reeves with Just the Facts.